Hi everyone, a very good morning to all of you. I welcome you all to another session of RBI 247, wherein we discuss finance current affairs. Before starting today's video, there is a little piece of information that I want to give you. So uh, from the month of June, we are going to be bringing the RBI 247 sessions on a weekly basis instead of three sessions in a week, which we do currently, right? So you will be getting sessions um, weekly on the weekend so that in just one session you can complete current affairs related to finance for the entire one week. Okay. Today's session start karte hai, the two topics and these are very 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 important topics that is why I've decided to pick up only two topics or last video thodi lagmi ho thi, so I did not want to create a uh, you know a lengthy video again but these topics are very 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 important. The first one is very important because the RBI governor talked about this evergreening of loan. So RBI governor ne bohat zyada gusse mein banks ke liye bola hai uh, in a meeting addressing the central board of uh, directors he has said that banks are resorting to evergreening of loans. We will understand this, what, are, what is evergreening of loans? And the second is about finance minister's advice to DRT, what advice they have given to the debt recovery tribunals. Uh, advice to debt recovery tribunals as well as banks as well as creditors. Okay, so the first one is about evergreening of loans. Why are we studying this? Subse pehle because the RBI governor, Tikanta Das, has talked about the evergreening of loans that banks are resorting to evergreening of loans and they have you know found out new and innovative measures of evergreening their loan what is this evergreening of loan bahut zyada news mein hai isliye please dhyan se samajhiyega isko evergreening the word evergreening means something that is sada bahar something you know that keeps happening again and again when we talk about loans we are saying that a loan that is given to a corporate buyer, uh, you know, a borrower is given again and again and again. So, for example, if I have bank say 10, 000, 10 lakh ka loan, liya. so let's say 50 lakh. So, I took a loan of 50 lakh from bank and I said I will repay in 5 years. And I was repaying it 10 lakh plus interest every year. Okay. But suddenly after 2 years, what happens is the third year I am unable to pay this loan. Let's say family me ko issues hai ya me ko job se nikal diya or any other issue that I am unable to pay this 10 lakh loan per month or per year and with, with interest I am unable to pay that. So I go to bank and I ask ki me kya kar sakti hu. I don't want to liquidate my position. I don't want to say that I am bankrupt. What do I do? Ya fir, I am not completely bankrupt because I am able to you know um, solve whatever problems I have at home or let's say jo meri operational uh, expenditure hai. I am able to meet those expenditure but I am unable to pay the debt that I have taken. So what can bank do is bank can give me another loan to repay this loan. So let's suppose banks gives me 20 lakh ka or zyada loan. A point yeh ki 20 lakh ka loan hai to mere 70 lakh ka ho gaya. But this 20 lakh loan is given to me to repay the earlier loan. So now the earlier loan is reduced from 50 lakh minus 20 lakh. This will be shown as 30 lakh or plus this new 20 lakh. So total loan abhi bhi 50 lakh hi hai. Detail mein nahi jana hai itna. Let me just you know erase that but the point is that i have taken one more loan i have taken one more loan of 20 lakh to repay this 50 lakh ka loan 50 lakh mein se i have repaid 20 lakh ka loan okay now this is the point the moment i take another loan to pay my previous loan this is known as evergreening of loan ki matlab aap ek hi loan ko chukane ke liye bar bar aur loan le rahe ho bank se now the question comes can bank do that or can i as a borrower do that this actually happens, this actually happens, especially in case of large borrowers. So let's suppose Adani company has taken a loan of 300 crore from a bank and uh, the company is unable to pay the, the loan. Let's suppose SBI se liya hua hai, ICIC and SBI, dono, dono bank se liya hua hai combined and they are unable to pay back the loan. So what can they do is, SBI can give another loan, let's say 50 crore ka ek aur loan de diya to pay back the earlier loan. Hai? Suppose ICI may be, ICICI may be 100 crore ka ek aur loan de diya, additional loan, right? And if let's suppose after two years also they are unable to pay, ek aur loan de diya 100 crore. This keeps happening. A point is, why do banks do that? Why do banks do that? Isse banks ko aur zada paisa ja raha hai, you know, uh, the deposits that banks are able to have, instead of giving it to new uh, borrowers and good borrowers, they are giving it to weak borrowers and they're giving it to borrowers who are already defaulting. Why are they giving it to them once again? The biggest reason why this is done is because the moment, if you remember about NPA, everyone knows that RBA is preparing for it. So when a loan is unpaid for more than 90 days, right, principal plus interest is uh, unpaid for more than 90 days, it turns into NPA, non-performing asset. The moment 
नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट होता है एक होता है स्टैंडर्ड एसेट एज लॉन्ग एज वी आर गेटिंग द लोन द बैंक इज गेटिंग द लोन तो स्टैंडर्ड है ठीक है देन वो स्ट्रेस्ड बन जाता है इफ वी आर अनेबल टू गेट द लोन द बैंक इज अनेबल टू गेट द लोन ठीक है तो वो स्ट्रेस बन जाता है when they you know when a loan falls into stress loan asset category or they become nps banks have to maintain a provision on them banks have to maintain a provision on them provision of what provision of the capital that they have a Pro provision of the capital that they have theek hai jo bhi wo capital collect kar rahe hain tier 1 tier 2 capital usme se they have to maintain a provision on the npa that they are having jitne zyada unke np hote rahenge they will have to keep uh, maintaining these provisions as per prudence rule ki aap provision maintain karke chaliye prudence rule yahi kehta hai in any risky situation banks cannot go bankrupt and say that hamare paas npas bahut zyada hai that is why we are going bankrupt right apne provisions kyun nahi banaye that will be the next question so to avoid such a situation that they have to uh, maintain a lot of provisions and the amount of provisions keep increasing to avoid that situation banks instead of showing their asset their stressed asset as npas or they are instead of showing that particular borrower in the default list default list mein they don't want to show their borrower they give them more loans they give them more loans with more moratorium period more repack uh, repay back period right the time period right so zyada unko time de dete hain to repay uh, the loan और मे बी कम इंटरेस्ट पे भी देते सो मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी अगर अकोमोडेटिव स्टैंड है मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी रिड्यूस ये लिबरल मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी है सो द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज डिक्रीजिंग तो कम रेट पे दे कैन गिव एक्स्ट्रा लोन सो दैट दे कैन रीपे दी अर्लियर लोन सो द बिगेस्ट रीजन बाई बैंक आर डूइंग इट टू अवॉइड क्रिएटिंग प्रोविजन नाउ आर बी आई सेज की ये कितनी ज्यादा गलत बात है दिस इज एब्सोल्यूटली रॉन्ग दैट दे द बैंक आर डूइंग दैट एंड दिस शोज मिस गवर्नेंस ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ बैंक सबसे पहले तो दिस इज मिस गवर्नेंस ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ बैंक अब गवर्नेंस इन कॉर्पोरेट बैंकिंग आपका एक टॉपिक है सॉरी कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस इन बैंकिंग आपका एक टॉपिक है यू कैन राइट डाउन दिस पॉइंट दिस इज मिस गवर्नेंस दिस इज मिस गवर्नेंस ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ लोन अप्रूवर्स जो बैंक में लोन अप्रूव करते हैं right the credit approval policy creators right board members loan approvers jo hain it it shows misgovernance on their part right okay so what is the news the rbi governor shaktikanta das raised red flags over the banks adopting innovative methods for evergreening of loans this ends up uh, through this they cover up their real status of stressed loans of corporate so let's suppose stressed loans actually mein hone chahiye the kisi bank ke 150 crore but because they have given extra loans so that their earlier loans can be repaid to ye 150 loans me se they can show ki hamare 50 crore ke loans to wapas aa gaye hain somehow and wo 100 crore is stressed asset of show ho rahe right so this actually helps in covering up the real status and it does not show a fair representation of their books of accounts theek hai two and what happens this project an artificial clean image and this is generally done in collision with the corporates This is actually done with collusion with the corporates. अगर किसी bank में मेरा कोई relative है या मेरा बहुत अच्छा friend है and I है आई एम अ क्यूज यू नो कंपनी या कॉर्पोरेट मेरी बहुत बड़ी कंपनी है सो आई कैन डेफिनेटली कोलाइड विद द बैंकर हु इज गिविंग मी लोन्स ठीक है अब बैंकर्स क्या बोलते हैं वाई आर दे डूइंग इट दे से दैट समटाइम्स इट इज प्रैक्टिकल टू एक्सटेंड लिक्विडिटी सपोर्ट टू कंपनीज दैट आर जेनुअनली फेसिंग इशूज दैट आर जेनुअनली फेसिंग इशूज आपने एक प्रॉब्लम सुनी होगी अबाउट ट्विन बैलेंस शीट प्रॉब्लम twin balance sheet problem this was in news uh, very regularly 2 3 years back bahut zyada news mein tha twin balance sheet however this does not mean ki ab iska koi question nahi aa sakta they can you uh, they can ask you a question on twin balance sheet the moment we say twin we mean we are talking about two to do kaun si balance sheet hai is it the banks or the government banks and the rbi so here the two balance sheet we are talking about is corporates jinhone loan liya hua hai and banks who are the lenders so banks are the lenders and corporates are the borrowers what happens is corporates they take loan from the banks they take loan from the banks and the more and they you know they utilize this money that they have uh, uh, borrowed from the bank on their operations on their investment and somehow agar unki investment profitable nahi hai they are unable to get enough profit they are unable to get um, yeah, enough income what will happen unki balance sheet mein problem aayegi profit zyada nahi hai losses incur kar rahe hain regular losses regular losses ho rahe hain and what will happen they will be unable to pay the banks eventually ya to bol denge we are bankrupt we want to liquidate or we do not have the money 
डेट दे विल बी अनेबल टू पे द बैंक वॉट विल हैपन बैंक की बैलेंस शीट में एन पी एस इंक्रीज हो जाएंगे राइट नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स दिस शो बैड क्वालिटी ऑफ एसेट्स ऑफ बैंक बैंक के जो एसेट्स हैं उनकी क्वालिटी कितनी खराब है कि एन पी एस इतने ज्यादा है नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स इतने ज्यादा है राइट सो अब एन पी एस इंक्रीज होने से क्या होता है बैंक का पैसा फंसा हुआ है सो दिस हंड्रेड करोड़ दैट बैंक हैड गिवन एज ए लोन दिस इज नॉट कमिंग बैक राइट एंड उसके ऊपर डिपोजिटर्स विल कम एंड आस्क फॉर देयर मनी राइट सो दिस इज द ट्विन बैलेंस शीट प्रॉब्लम वेर द बैलेंस शीट ऑफ बोथ कॉर्पोरेट एंड द बैंक विच इज द लेंडर इज इन ट्रबल सो दिस इज अ ट्विन बैलेंस शीट प्रॉब्लम एंड टू अवॉइड सच अ सिचुएशन बैंक से बैंक ये बोल रहे हैं कि इट इज ओके इफ वी आर गिविंग लोन्स अगेन टू एनी कॉर्पोरेट हु इज एक्चुअली इन नीड हु इज जेनुअनली फेसिंग इशूज बैंक से कि इट इज वेरी इजी टू टेल देम कि इट इज वेरी इजी टू शो इन बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट कि हमारे एनपीए इंक्रीज हो रहे हैं बट इट इज ऑल्सो डिफिकल्ट ऑन आर पार्ट दैट वी हैव टू गिव देम एक्स्ट्रा लोन सो दैट दे कैन रिकवर इफ दे विल रिकवर इवेंचुअली हमारा पैसा तो आएगा ही आएगा बट उनकी भी रिकवरी हो पाएगी सो दैट इज द जस्टिफिकेशन दैट बैंक है देख लेते हैं वॉट इज एवर ग्रीनिंग ऑफ लोन द प्रोसेस ऑफ एवर ग्रीनिंग ऑफ लोन विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द फॉर्म ऑफ जोम्बी लेंडिंग अभी जोम्बी लेंडिंग की बोलते हैं सो द कॉर्पोरेट the corporate which initially took a loan which initially took a loan for its operations for its investment kahin pe paisa lagana tha ek naya plant kholna tha right to expand its business let's say so they took a loan initially and when they were when they defaulted on their loan when they are unable to pay back the loan bank is giving them extra loan bank is giving them extra additional loan so that they can repay their earlier loan isme kya ho raha hai they are not actual customers वो बैंक के एक्चुअल बोरोअर्स नहीं है बैंक का एक्चुअल एसेट नहीं है वो इट इज अम्बी कॉर्पोरेट इट इज अम्बी कॉर्पोरेट वाई बिकॉज इट इज टेकिंग लोन ओनली फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ रीपेइंग दी प्रीवियस लोन ठीक है सो उनको जोम्बी कॉर्पोरेट जोम्बी कंपनीज बोलते हैं सो द प्रोसेस ऑफ एवरीग्रीनिंग ऑफ लोन इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ जोम्बी लेंडिंग इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ जोम्बी लेंडिंग इज टिपिकली टेम्परेरी फिक्स फॉर अ बैंक टेम्परेरी फिक्स है इट इज नॉट परमानेंट राइट So, if an account turns into NPA, banks are required to make higher provision. This I have already explained to you. That is one of the reasons they do not uh, want to show it in their NPAs, so that they have extra provision not to be made. And they are giving extra loans. Banks adopt evergreening of loans. In the past, many banks had indulged in dressing up bad loans and giving additional funds to companies who didn't have the capacity to repay. अब ये होता कैसे है सो दिस इज वॉट दिस इज सेड बाय द आरबीआई गवर्नर तो पहले आरबीआई गवर्नर ने बोला कि जनरली तो एवरग्रीनिंग ऑफ लोन्स आप फेस पे करते ही थे बट वॉट कीप्स हैपनिंग इज आरबीआई कीप्स पॉइंटिंग आउट फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम कि ये एवरग्रीनिंग हो रही है दिस इज ऑल्सो एवरग्रीनिंग सो वॉट बैंक आर डूइंग दे आर फाइंडिंग इनोवेटिव वेज टू यू नो इन दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ एवरग्रीनिंग ऑफ लोन्स दे आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड इनोवेटिव वेज एंड दे आर गिविंग लोन्स टू बैड लेंडर्स हु आर अनेबल टू पे Uh, the, uh, who are unable to pay the loans, they are giving more loans to them. Okay, and they are finding innovative uh, ways. And these are the certain methods the RBI government has talked about. First of all, bringing two lenders together to evergreen each other's loans. So let's say SBI is RBI. You have to remember it. Only to understand it. So I am just explaining it quickly. SBI is ICICI. SBI is let's say NPA is happening and ICICI is also happening. So SBI will go to ICICI and say कि यार please इस corporate को थोड़ा पैसा दे दो so that we can they can repay our loan and we will give loan to your corporate so that they can repay your loan ठीक है so this is one way of one innovative way of evergreening of loan right where two lenders come together to uh, together to evergreen each other's loans then good borrowers are also pursued to enter into structured deals with a stress borrower so let's suppose एक stress borrower है ABC and उसका uh, एक और गुड बोरवर है एक्स वाई जेड सो दोनों ने एक ही बैंक से लोन लिया है एसबीआई से सो एसबीआई कैन गो टू एक्स वाई जेड इट इज अ गुड बोरवर कि प्लीज लेंड लिटिल मनी और हेल्प आउट एबीसी और वी आर गिविंग यू मनी प्लीज गिव इट टू एबीसी कि वो हमारा पैसा दे दे बिकॉज अगर हम उनको पैसा देंगे तो हमारी बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स में समझ आ जाएगा दिस इज एवर ग्रीनिंग ऑफ लोन सो अन अदर इनोवेटिव वे देन यूज ऑफ इंटरनल और ऑफिस अकाउंट सो थ्रू किसी और मेथड के थ्रू अपना कोई और अकाउंट यूज करके सो नॉट यूजिंग देयर यू नो लोन मनी That they have not giving them loan directly, but indirectly किसी process के through उनको loan दे दिया So let's say अगर कोई credit facility कोई और available है If any other credit facility, let's say uh, credit card या कोई और credit facility is available to a borrower. So using or extending this credit facility, a borrower can repay the previous loan, right? Then renewal of loan or disbursement of new additional loans ये तो वही है 
to stress borrower or related entities closer to the repayment date of earlier loans. Related entities may be up to say, let's suppose if XYZ has taken, let's suppose a money brother one has taken a loan and is unable to pay. So what banks can do is they can give a loan to a money brother two and tell this person, wo ban gaya related party, wo ban gaya related party, related entity. Is case mein. Related entity. So related entity ko loan de diya. They have given a loan to the relative enti related entity so that they can repay the loan. Right? The entity which was the borrower, they can repay the loan. Okay? These are certain innovative ways which RBI governor ne bataye hain and I have explained to you. Banks delay the recognition of losses due to loan defaults. Banks delay the recognition of losses due to loan defaults and engage in evergreening. Like I said, to, uh, they do not want to show it in their books of account that uh, hamara actually mein default ho raha hai. That's why they engage in evergreening, which is essentially the rolling over of debts to unviable borrowers that would otherwise would have been defaulted. Ye evergreening ka hi, uh, concept hai. This shows misgovernance on the part of banks. Then, if there is an accommodative monetary policy, ho, agar ek accommodative monetary policy ho, bhi it provides an enabling environment, an enabling environment for banks to actually give loans to you know, zombie companies or zombies. So, what, how does it happen that if there is already a weak borrower, hai, bank, if high rate of interest market mein chal raha hai, bank would have to give a loan at a high rate of interest, which would definitely not be able to But in this case, bank can pay, uh, you know, give them a loan at a low rate of interest so that they will give it and the first loan will give it, right? So, it actually creates an enabling environment. And we all know that RBI followed, not has been, RBI followed the accommodative policy since uh, in March 2020 and continuously followed it for one complete year. Okay, a point is put the zombie work. Now, what are the problems? What the major issue is that if you are giving a zombie company ko bar -bar loan de rahe ho, the actual potential borrowers who should have got the loans, the potential borrowers, the good borrowers, the credit worthy borrowers, they should have got those loans, but they are unable to get those loans because you the banks are keep uh, the banks keep giving it to the zombie companies. So is the kya ho raha hai? These potential borrowers, these credit worthy borrowers who would have paid the paid back the loan, they are getting crowding crowded out. Crowded out matlab, bahar ja rahe. So they come to the bank, they come to the bank to take a loan, but bank says ki, we have given a loan to the zombie borrowers. So they went back. So the crowd is out of banks. See ye crowd out ka matlab yehi hota hai. So crowding out of good borrowers. Okay. This actually keeps happening. Indirect evergreening ki wajah se bhi ho raha hai. What is indirect evergreening? So an example is shown. Weak firms increase their leverage by borrowing through the related parties. They tell the related parties ki aap kisi weak bank se loan le lo so that we can repay the loan. One of the indirect ways of uh, evergreening of loans. Just ki wajah se jo actual good borrowers hai, they are crowded out. Theek hai. Now, okay, this is the same. Can, how can evergreening be stopped? Pehle toh, can it be stopped and how can it be stopped? See, even if, even after all the possible ways are pointed out by the RBI and uh, told to the banks that, you know, these things are happening, such and such methods are followed by the banks for evergreening of loans, even then, thoda baut toh, kuch na kuch rahe jayega. But, can it be stopped? Yes, it can be stopped. How? If, there is penalties. Agar RBI ko pata lag raha hai that these banks, RBI already bhoat sare occasions pe, banks pe penalty lagati hai. They impose penalties on banks on various occasions. And, you know, penalties on, let's say, ombudsman achche se kaam nahi kar raha. Or, uh, credit aapne extra de diya, itna dena nahi tha. On such, on various, uh, you know, for various purposes, RBI penalties lagati hai. Right? So, if RBI is noticing such evergreening, they can levi penalties. Penal penalties could be levied and clawback of monetary bonuses. Jo whole time directors, jo chairmen, jo audit committee mein kaam kar rahe hai. If they are letting such processes being followed in their banks, unke jo bonuses hote hai. So a lot of these uh, KMPs, key managerial personals, a lot of these um, high level managers, high level employees of a company, of a bank, they rely on their bonuses. They actually rely on their bonuses. So, it is one of the suggestions given by leading newspapers that these are the two ways that can be done. Ek to penalties or penalties up is form mein bhi laka sakte ho. Clawback of their monetary bonuses. Theke. So, this was the first news about evergreening of loans. What all is important in this? Why is it in news? Because RBI governor has said it in an address of the board of directors. Ki this is happening. Uh, board of directors of various banks. 
कि दिस इज हैपनिंग एंड दिस शुड नॉट बी हैपनिंग देन वॉट इज एवर ग्रीनिंग ऑफ लोन उसके क्या इम्पैक्ट है आई डोंट थिंक डिस्क्रिप्टिव में आ सकता है बट बिकॉज इट इज ए न्यूज हर जगह ये न्यूज पेपर में है दैट इज वाई आई है ओके द सेकेंड वन इज अबाउट द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर्स एडवाइस टू द डी आर टी सो दट टू रिड्यूस द बर्डन ऑन द डी आर टी द फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री सो एक्चुअली दिस इज एन एडवाइस टू द पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक नॉट द डी आर टी सो डी आर टी जो है डेट रिकवरी ट्राइब्यूनल इस पर बहुत ज्यादा बर्डन है देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ बर्डन ऑन द डेट रिकवरी ट्राइब्यूनल वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट पेंडिंग केसेस इन एनी यू नो इन एनी कोर्ट और ट्रिब्यूनल कीप्स इंक्रीजिंग क्योंकि जो रिकवरी होती है और रिजोल्विंग जो होती है ऑफ दीज केसेस दे इट इज द रिजोल्विंग टाइम इज वेरी लो राइट सेटलमेंट टाइम इज वेरी लो सो अब द थिंग इज द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर शी इज टोल्ड दैट बैंक कैन ऑप फॉर ओ टी एस बैंक कैन ऑप फॉर ओ टी एस वन टाइम सेटलमेंट ऑफर कि एक बार आप अपने बोरोवर से जो नहीं दे पा रहे हैं लोन यू कैन आस्क देम फॉर अ वन टाइम सेटलमेंट कंसल्ट देम फॉर अ वन टाइम सेटलमेंट सो दैट डी आर टी के ऊपर जो बर्डन है इट कैन बी रिड्यूस्ड लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज डी आर टी लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट हियर ओके डी आर टी डेट रिकवरी ट्रिब्यूनल सो वॉट हैपन्स इज देर इज अ कंपनी हु हैज टेकन अ लोन फ्रॉम अ बैंक बट दे आर अनेबल टू रीपे अब रीपे के टाइम पे दे से दैट वी डू नॉट हैव द मनी वी कैन नॉट रीपे वॉट विल बैंक डू पहले क्या होता था सिविल केसेस फॉर्म होते थे एंड सिविल केसेस सिविल सूट्स फाइल होते थे एंड इट यूज टू टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम इट यूज टू टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू रिजॉल्व सच केसेस बहुत ज्यादा टाइम लगता था पेंडिंग केसेस बैंक्स में पड़े रहते थे बहुत टाइम था सो वॉट स्टार्टेड हैपनिंग वॉज नरसिम्हा कमिटी नरसिम्हा कमिटी दिस यू मस्ट हैव रेड इन योर स्टार्टिंग ऑल्सो नरसिम्हा कमिटी नरसिम्हा कमिटी This committee recommended the creation of debt recovery tribunal. They said, "Ab civil suit me bar bar. Why banks ke cases ko bhej rahe ho? Ek alag se tribunal banao. Debt recovery tribunal. The fact that it is called debt recovery means that it will work towards recovery of the uh, debt. Debt recovery tribu tribunal. Debt recovery tribunal. Right? It will actually work towards recovery of the debt." recovery of debt of who of banks and financial institutions banks and financial institutions so banks and financial institutions started getting a lot of npas bahut zyada uh, debt ho raha tha which was not being repaid repaid right the assets were turning into npas so uh, they were told so uh, drt was formed debt recovery tribunal and such cases will be now going to debt recovery tribunal okay debt recovery tribunal ठीक है, सो द डेट रिकवरी ट्राइब्यूनल एंड द डी आर एटीज अपाले ट्रिब्यूनल सो डेट रिकवरी ट्राइब्यूनल ने जो भी सेटलमेंट बोला या जो भी केस का जो रिजल्ट है वो अनाउंस करा इफ एनी अग्रीव पार्टी इज नॉट यू नो इज इज नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद वट एवर द डिसीजन इज टेकन दे कैन गो टू द डेट रिकवरी अपेलेट ट्रिब्यूनल डेट रिकवरी अपेलेट ट्रिब्यूनल इफ दे आर नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद द सेटलमेंट और विद द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस केस ऑफ द डी आर टीज यू नो डिसीजन ठीक है इफ दे आर स्टिल अग्रीव इफ इट इज एन अग्रीव पार्टी दे कैन स्टिल गो टू डेट रिकवरी अपनल ट्रिब्यूनल ठीक है एंड सो दे वर स्टैब्लिश अंडर द रिकवरी ऑफ डेट ड्यू टू रिकवरी ऑफ डेट ऑफ बैंक एक्ट नाइनटीन नाइनटी थ्री जिसको हम बोलते हैं एक और नाम से भी बोलते हैं आर डी डी बी एफ Which is recovery of debt due to banks and financial institutions. ठीक है? BFI. Recovery of debt due to banks and financial institutions, with a specific objective of providing expeditious adjudication and recovery of debts due to banks and financial institutions. अब मैं एक छोटा सा चीज़ आपको समझा देती हूँ. There is something known as IBC, Insolvency Bureau, Bankruptcy Court. This you might have studied in your finance statistics. ठीक है? Finance statistics में हम सबने पढ़ा है. इसमें बहुत सारी चीज़ें आती हैं. सबसे पहले तो it is a code. इट इज अ कोड जिसमें बहुत सारे लॉज को अर्लियर लॉट ऑफ लॉज वर देर सो दिस कोड वॉज सपोज टू कोडिफाई ऑल द लॉज टूगेदर और अमेलगुमेट ऑल द लॉज टूगेदर की अब यही लॉ फॉलो होगा ठीक है सो दिस इज अ कोड इसमें बहुत सारी चीजें आती है इट इज ऑल्सो ऑब्वियसली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जाम एंड दिस वी हैव स्टडीड इन स्टैटिक तो मैं दोबारा नहीं पढ़ाऊंगी दिस टॉक्स अबाउट एबीसी इंसॉल्वेंसी बैंक सी कोड सो कोई कंपनी अगर बैंक हो रही है खुद ही बोल रही है आई एम बैंक आई एम अनेबल टू पे यू माई लोन दीज आर ऑल माई क्रेडिटर्स आई हैव टू गिव लोन टू ऑल दीज क्रेडिटर्स प्लीज आई एम बैंक तो लिक्विडेट करो लिक्विडेट करो लिक्विडेट द कंपनी लिक्विडेट मीन्स 
कैसे कैसे इसके एसेट्स रिजोल्व होंगे एसेट्स को बेच के जितना भी पैसा आएगा ऑल द मनी दैट विल बी रिकवर्ड बाय सेल ऑफ दीज एसेट्स हु विल इट गो टू सो विच विच ऑल क्रेडिटर्स विल बी गिवन बिफोर पहले किनको पैसा मिला जाएगा सो ऑल द क्रेडिटर्स विल बी गिवन प्रायोरिटी एंड विच क्रेडिटर्स विल नॉट बी गिवन प्रायोरिटी सो दैट वॉज द पर्पज ऑफ दिस आई कोड अब इसमें बहुत सारी चीजें आती है इंसॉल्वेंसी प्रोफेशनल आते हैं एडजुडिकेटिंग अथॉरिटी आती है आई बी बी आई विच इज द बोर्ड वो भी आता है राइट right? इंफॉर्मेशन uh, यूटिलिटीज आती है विच गैदर ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन सो इसमें बहुत सारी चीजें आती हैं आई पी एस इन्फो आई पी एस इन्फॉर्मेशन यूटिलिटीज राइट आई बी बी आई आई बी बी आई एंड एडजुटिकेटिंग अथॉरिटीज अब एडजुटिकेटिंग अथॉरिटीज में आता है एन सी एल टी एंड डी आर टी ठीक है एन सी एल टी एंड डी आर टी दिस इज फॉर कंपनीज दिस इज फॉर इंडिविजुअल ठीक है दिस इज द प्रोसेस फिर एक आता है देर इज सरफेजी एक्ट सरफेजी एक्ट 2002 में आया था राइट सिक्योरिटाइजेशन एंड रिकंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ फाइनेंशियल एसेट एंड एनफोर्समेंट ऑफ सिक्योरिटी इंटरेस्ट रिमेंबर द नेम सिक्योरिटाइजेशन एंड रिकंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ फाइनेंशियल एसेट एंड एनफोर्समेंट ऑफ सिक्योरिटी इंटरेस्ट दिस एक्ट गेव द पावर टू बैंक पहले बैंक के पास दे डिड नॉट है पावर टू लेट सपोज बैंक से अंबानी ने लोन लिया ऑफ लेट सपोज टू हंड्रेड करोर एंड दे गेव अ प्रॉपर्टी एज सिक्योरिटी दे गेव अ प्रॉपर्टी एज सिक्योरिटी उन्होंने अपना एक ऑफिस की बिल्डिंग उन्होंने एज अ सिक्योरिटी दे दी फॉर टू हंड्रेड करोड़ का लोन ठीक है ना दिस इज अ सिक्योरिटी नाउ इफ दे डिफॉल्ट ऑन दिस लोन बैंक हैड अर्लियर पहले क्या होता था बैंक हैड टू गो टू अ कोर्ट एंड दे हैड टू बैंक हैड टू गो टू अ कोर्ट एंड दे हैड टू सेल दी सिक्योरिटी सिक्योरिटी उनके पास है बट दे कुड नॉट सेल इट दे के नॉट डू एनीथिंग दे हैड टू गो टू अ कोर्ट कोर्ट को कोर्ट यू नो इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू रिजोल्व एन इशू या एक केस को रिजोल्व करने में बहुत ज्यादा टाइम लगता है सो दैट इज व्हाट टू हैपन सो सरफेजी एक्ट गेव द पावर टू द बैंक्स इट गेव द पावर टू द बैंक्स दैट यू हैव द सिक्योरिटी यू कैन सेल दी सिक्योरिटीज एंड रिकवर योर लोन्स यू कैन रिकवर योर लोन सो दिस वाज द पावर गिवन अंडर द सरफेजी एक्ट ठीक है अब इसमें क्या होता है ये जो सिक्योरिटी है एआरसी इनकी सिक्योरिटी को टेक ओवर कर लेती है या बैंक से अपनी इनकी सिक्योरिटी को सेल कर देते हैं सो दिस इज अबाउट एनफोर्समेंट ऑफ सिक्योरिटी इंटरेस्ट दिस इज द एक्ट enforcement of security interest now let's come to drt debt recovery tribunal so this debt recovery tribunal is formed is formed to resolve cases to resolve cases in case of default in case of default recovery karane ke liye jo cases hote hain they go to debt recovery tribunal theek hai to yes and the amount of these such cases the amount of money involved in such cases और मनी ओड टू द बैंक एक बैंक को कितना पैसा ओड है दैट शुड बी मोर देन ट्वेंटी लैख और मोर अंडर डी आर टी डेट रिकवरी ट्रेबिट राइट सो द मनी शुड बी मोर देन ट्वेंटी लैख सो वॉट हैज द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर सेट टू बैंक की इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग टू डी आर टीज अगेन एंड अगेन उनका थोड़ा बर्डन कम करो क्यों वॉट हैपन्स इज बैंक गिव दे गिव रेजोल्यूशन वॉट द बॉरवर्ड आज दे गो टू द ट्राइब्यूनल के वी आर नॉट सेटिस्फाइड सो अब दे हैव टू टेक अप द कोर्ट द केस सो बैंक आर टोल्ड की एक वन टाइम सेटलमेंट करके खत्म करो रिड्यूस द बर्डन ऑफ दिस डी आर टीज लेटेस्ट हैव अ लुक एट लिटल इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द डी आर टीज एंड कितने डी आर टीज हैं अभी इंडिया में वॉट इज द पोजिशन ऑफ दीज लोन दैट आर पेंडिंग so debt recovery tribunals are tribunals that effectively facilitate the loan money recovery they are formed for recovery it is presided over by presiding officer ab ye tribunal hai to unka koi presiding officer bhi hoga do a presiding officer who is appointed by the central government and he shall be qualified to be a district judge tenure hai 5 years and the upper age is 45 whichever is earlier 65 sorry for whichever is earlier earlier this year the ministry the finance ministry informed the lok sabha that there are 50 158000 around cases that were pending with the drts as on february 2023 while the pendency of the cases in drts is huge in the 5 years 5 years fy 2022 tak 5 years jo the they have disposed 110000 cases involving this much amount data important nahi hai i am just telling you ki ye situation hai just for your information okay so up they have told this is what the finance ministry has said for accounts in which there has been no recovery for 3 years no recovery for 3 years unko khud se hi jaake resolve karne ki koshish karo the banks file the case with the drt for an amount above the specified limit 
So in those cases where the bank has filed a case with the DRT and opts for OTS, there has to be mutual consent of the between the parties. This is what this is what generally happens. Now, so hair cut. So what happens is banks, if a certain amount is owed to banks, let's suppose ten crore is owed to a bank. Okay. So a borrower has taken a loan of ten crore. So if they are unable to pay, banks one of the methods that bank uh, you know uh, one of the methods that banks uh, take up. For uh, resolving this this loan or to recover this loan is one time settlement. A one time settlement may they give a haircut. A haircut they say that okay, let's say twenty percent ka haircut. Hai. If you are unable to give us eight uh, ten crore ka loan, just give us eight crore. ठीक है now you owe us only eight crore. Do do crore हमने माफ कर दिए. That is one time settlement में एक haircut देना. ठीक है एक haircut देना. So and this haircut is given on a case by case basis and decided by the board of the concerned bank. Case by case basis पे होता है. And decided by the board of the concerned banks. Now, in this, there are certain factors. For example, the value of primary security. The bank feels that in security, I can take so much percentage. So, I can reduce the amount of loan from so much. So, a lot of factors are there. Currently, in India, there are 39 DRTs and 5 DRATs. There are 39 DRTs. This is important information. Hai, and 5 DRATs debt recovery appellate tribunal. Right. And the finance ministry is also aiming to appoint the presiding officers at all DRTs, as there are four to five vacancies at this month. Yet, some news may have. This is also if you want to go through about the cases that are disposed and the amount that is recovered. So, this information is yeah, that means no need to worry. Okay. So, this brings us to the end of the session. This information is about the crash course. It is available at seven five hundred without the kit and ten thousand may with the kit. Okay. Let's come to questions. Which of the following statement is our? Which of the following statement about evergreening of loans is our correct? You have to tell about the correct statement. Evergreening of loans will increase the provisions kept by bank. Is that right? No. To avoid creating provisions, banks lead to or resort to evergreening of loans. So this statement is incorrect. Evergreening of loans can lead to crowding out of investment, crowding out of loan. ये यहाँ पे loan होना चाहिए. Crowding out of loan. This is correct. Crowding out of loan to especially the good borrowers. This is actually correct. Evergreening of loans can include shady promoters who are known for fund diversion. ये actually में true है. This is this was found in 2014. So 2014 में when the RBI governor was Raghu Ram Rajan ji, he actually uh, he did an asset quality review. He did an एक बार asset quality review उसने बहुत famous हुआ था. जिसमें banks की balance sheet का review करा था and especially उनके assets का. And what is the quality of these assets? What is the quality of these assets? Are they good? Are they bad? So, बहुत bad quality दिखी थी assets की in 2014, right? It was like a checking of the report card, uh, report card बन रही थी all these banks के balance sheet की, right? So, this is one of the uh, things that was found out that evergreening of loans was happening, which actually also involved uh, the the people or the promoters. Who were shady and they are known for fund diversion. यहाँ से पान घुमा के कहीं और रख दिया, right? एक लोन से पैसा लेके दूसरे एक बैंक से पैसा लेके they returned the loan to some other bank, right? Which of the following statement is are incorrect about monetary policy stances of RBI? An accommodative monetary policy creates an enabling environment for weak banks to evergreen loans to zombies. This is correct. The RBI has been following an accommodative policy since March 2020 till now. No, recently RBI has been following. Withdrawal of accommodation, withdrawal, calibrated withdrawal stance, and not accommodative stance. Accommodative मतलब, accommodative मतलब uh, they are reducing the policy rates so that growth can be stimulated, stimulate growth. ठीक है? Accommodative monetary policy includes continuous increase in policy rates for three consecutive quarters. No, it actually means reducing the rates so that growth can be stimulated, money supply can be increased. The country currently has 39 DRTs, 5 DRATs. This is true. Okay, so correct statement about debt recovery tribunal. Which of the following statement is correct about debt recovery tribunal? The first statement is correct. A standard haircut is given by banks to all borrowers. So here the word standard, it is actually case by case basis pay and the, on the discretion of the board of the concerned banks. So case by case basis pay here, not standard. The DRTs and DRATs were established under the Surface Act. No, it was. Recovery of debt due to banks and financing uh, institutions, right? इसको bankruptcy act भी बोलते हैं। इसके under decide हुआ था 1993 में कि DRTs बनेंगे surface act तो 2002 में आया। Okay, this was the last question for today. That brings us to the end of the session. I hope you like the session. 
uh, a very all the best for your upcoming RBI grade B exam. Thank you.